Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Inner City Long Form Improv Jam! So wonderful to hear all of the wonderful hollerings and hoochins uh, here in the Zoom room tonight. You could be here too. Uh, we just started. All of our links are everywhere, so it's, uh, you can jump in. Um, we have here tonight uh, the person who did our wonderful glissando in. Uh, we have the wonderful Michael Olivier. Two nights on the keys. Give it up for Michael Olivier. Hey guys, good evening. Yay. Here's the deal. Woo! Tonight is a very special night. I'm gonna say at the very end of the spiel because it's um it's National uh, Asian American slash Pacific Islander Month, and I also happen to be Asian American slash Pacific Islander because me being Filipino, I still have no idea what I fill in on the Census Bureau, so I filled it out twice. Um, that being said, what a wonderful way to kick it off, uh, so I appreciate everybody being here celebrating National American, uh, Asian American slash Pacific Islander with us. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's do our opening. Um, what do I do? What am I doing? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, let's, uh, let's talk about the jam, shall we? Let's find out what we're doing. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. No, I ruined it. No, no. I crossed the street, no. Sussino. No. Someone's in trouble. You didn't see it yet. Well, happy uh, American Asian Month. All right. Uh, here's the jam format. Everybody here, or those who are kind of trickling in, are, have been assigned a random team. We have our wonderful David Shapiro, who's handing registration. We have uh, four teams. Two of them are musical, two of them are non-musical. And we'll announce those teams. Uh, when they come in the running order. Uh, we have montage. Uh, we're not thinking too hard. We're doing long-form improv, so we're sticking to montage. If things happen and everybody loves a good narrative, right, we'll just let it happen. Um, but uh, we'll stick to montage. It's a uh, 15-minute sets. Our total jam time is about two hours. We usually go to 2.30. So uh, sweep edits and tag outs, a thing if we want to edit scenes uh, for tag outs, say tag out name. Uh, that name will turn their camera off and you can turn your camera on. That's what's called the outs of tagging. But uh, sweep edits, you say this, uh, if you've ever seen uh, Futurama, you do the Dr. Zoyberg and you go sweep and a little bit of whoop, 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 whoops. Uh, something very large and obnoxious with, you know, on screen that we are uh, sweeping the scene so we can move on. Uh, people get caught up in their scene work, so we want to make sure everyone's doing it. Speaking of which, everybody turn on the cameras now and uh, let's uh, pretend to sweep in a three- a two and a one and weep. Am I the only one that misses Dr. Zoidberg? Oh no, I think we all uh, use Dr. Zoidberg in our lives. Yeah. All right. Well, Dr. Zoidberg's. Uh timer warnings. Uh, we have wonderful timers. Uh we actually have a uh, new volunteer. Uh, timers for this evening. You'll get to you'll get to see them if you're at home watching. Uh, we're so excited to have them this evening with us. But uh, they'll give about a two minutes uh, two minutes ish warning uh, before the scenes end, just to signify this is probably the last scene. Um, and then they get to make the call when the scene ends. Do they call it right as the timer goes off? Do they wait until they finish the end of the song? Uh, it's really up to the timer. So please watch out for them as they indicate the set's over. And if that's over, you better jump in on it because you just. Uh, fell off the bandwagon. All right, my arrow doesn't work. Um, if you are if you are in the audience, um, please mute your microphone and your camera. We don't want mysterious genies popping in and then we have to justify it through that. But if you're on the back line of the team playing, uh, we wanna hear you laugh because we wanna make them laugh. All right. Um, you may yourself get muted if, we, if your microphone is on. Um, people forget and we hear, I don't know, like ambiences going by, maybe you're ASMRing your dinner while you're in the meeting. Uh, we might mute you uh, uh, for a number of reasons. If you do, um, uh, we may or may not let you know just because it gets kind of crazy in here. If you, if you think you got muted and you need to get unmuted, let one of us know volunteers and we'll, we'll unmute you. Uh, clean that screen. Uh, this is a, man, Zoom keeps updated. And there's a section here. There's a way to um, um, basically hide all non-participating uh, members of the Zoom room. You wanna make it look like this. Beautiful performance. So um, if you're viewing from the Zoom room or if you're Laura, who's our beautiful tech tonight, hooray, then you might want to go to these settings. Uh, we are now streaming on Facebook. 
we are an inner city community. Uh, it's it's uh, please help us spread the word by spreading the live stream. There is a link in the event where you're probably watching this now. So please let people know that we're a thing. Please share that link out and let your friends and family know that you're doing the one thing that people are terrified of doing the most: uh, comedy. Hooray! <laughs> uh, sensitive topics. So um, here, at inner city. We're coming from uh, we're coming from different walks of life, different locations different belief systems whatever so we want to make sure we want to make this a safe place as much as possible for everybody so we have some sensitive topics not saying these are off the table but just be you know be mindful when approaching these those include political covid 19 related things we've heard it a lot of it already um religion spirituality uh blue humor um anything that involves a bodily substance um just use it sparingly you know like salt uh stalking socioeconomic disadvantage cursing um I told my kids about saying fart in class and they all went, ooh, and then they immediately went to their teacher and I was like, hey, Mr. Souls, give us permission to say the F word. <laughs> uh, Kurt, Kurt thing, just uh, use the sound. <laughs> Up to you. Uh, yeah, it depends. Um, but these topics, though, are for sure banned because these are getting into uh, making um, insulting or making fun of a person's identity. Um, first of all, please do not flash each other. Um, if you're going to take off your clothes, use improv clothes um yeah and all that stuff it's not fair that yeah there's a whole thing about yeah I'll, you know i'll say this um the reason being for is that some people aren't allowed to take their cameras off camera it's not fair um that's part of it um but yeah people don't want to see your gross hairs anyways uh, rape kidnapping miscarriage suicide um are, are banned topics racism sexism other isms mental illnesses again anything that makes a person identity the butt of the joke these are all examples not an exhaustive list. So we can always add these two. Um, we do have a policy called timeouts. Uh, long story short, if there's anything going on, um, if you're playing the jam tonight and it's and some of the content that's being played is to the point where it's uh, you are, do not feel safe or comfortable playing along or watching this, um, you can turn on your camera, call timeout. Uh, can we please move on to the next scene? This one explicitly says, this floods our jam guidelines. That's very scary to say. If you're not comfortable calling the timeout, please one of us, uh, let one myself or another volunteer know and we'll call the timeout for you. Again, we wanna make this a safe place. Let's let's call out when we're not comfortable so then we can help you know, take care of each other in the spirit of improv. Yes, help us create a fun and safe space. Tips for improv on Zoom though, uh, speak one person at a time. This is a safe web, so also treat others, players with respect. Don't be rude. Uh, don't troll in the group chat. Uh, don't make fun of my haircut. Um, please also use your uh, actual face. It's weird if you're talking to a horse that isn't a human. Please also just use your face um, so we can improvise better together anyways. Please self-manage your playing time. Look out for your teammates. If you've been in every single scene, maybe step out and let somebody else play. Or if you've seen one that hasn't been playing, pull them on screen with you. We want to make sure everyone's taken care of, yeah? Uh, don't worry about, uh, if you're here doing musical improv, don't worry about because the wonderful Michael Olivier has got to take care of you tonight, am I right? <laughs> yeah. With a bunch of MDs, um, your character is going to carry you as much anyways, so if you're trying it for the very first time, uh, just be a character and music will happen naturally. Um, when the timer is ca called, please jump in there because it's the last scene. And then have fun, laugh, it lightens the mood, especially if you're playing. Um, nobody wants to to perform for a room that just stares at them. So uh, yeah, audio, the more fun you have, the more fun that your players are gonna have along with you. This is, again, safe space, let's take advantage of it. Stick around to the end, we have a group game. Uh, actually, this game I'm very excited because it's based off of our headliners tonight. Uh, the featured troop announcement that I already spoiled for next week, but my mom's yeah. praying the rosary, so she won't even know until she comes in halfway in. Uh, feedback networking with some light mingling. Uh, we hang out at the end of this jam. Um, for another reason why to jump in late uh, if you haven't jumped in yet and then again please spread the word we are an inner city improv community please let people know that we're available share us on on facebook live twitch we're not on twitch uh word of mouth but yeah let people know that we're, we're still here we've been kicking it since uh march 29th of 2020 let's give it a thing ladies and gentlemen super excited to have housekeeping the uh the house team of third world improv from manila philippines will be here tonight uh give Woo! a round of applause very, very excited. Uh, remember when I said that I'm Filipino American? It is uh, the United States National Amer Asian American slash Pacific Islander Month. Uh, well, why not kick it off with our very first uh, Asian based team? 
Um, I'm so excited. My whole family's watching the stream because they don't believe improv exists outside the United States. So I proved them wrong. These wonderful group of people I got to meet um, a month or so ago. I'm glad that they're going to be joining us with us tonight. Um, I think that kind of wraps up the intro. I spent way too much time. I'm super excited. Why not pull up the first host of the evening, which I believe is this person. And this person's going to magically apparition into the screen. Give it up for Angel from Sevilla, Spain. <laughs> Hello, hello everybody, thank you Faustino. So the time has come to know our first team of the evening and your timekeeper will be Nelson Morgan. Nelson Morgan will inform you of when you will have only two minutes left. Watch out for Nelson Morgan. And now on team one we will have Jess Kent from Omaha. Yay, welcome. Yeah, from New York, Michael Olivier, also uh, on the musical direction, we will have Joshua Preben, yeah, and Casey Epper from Tucson, Arizona, we will have Alex Taylor from Miami, and also Donna Paul from Newburgh, good luck team one! Hi everybody, we're team one and we need a one word suggestion, please. Pizza. I saw pants and I heard pizza, so pizza pants. Pizza pants, thank you. Uh, pizza in Paris. Where's my, there, okay. You're muted, Josh. <laughs> Excuse me. Pizza pants, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, that's my TED talk. Whew, that was scary. I think I did well. That was the best no, TED talk you. I've ever heard. You're not gonna say that to me because I'm your boss. No. I I'm love so my inspired. pizza pants. <laughs> yes, what the pepperoni, it's so fabulous. Thank you. God. Hmm. You're welcome. I couldn't have done it with it. Well, I, I guess I could have done it without you three, but it was nice to have an audience. Oh, thank you. I mean, hey, I, 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 I did type all of your speeches, the every, every single iteration, and you changed right. your wording about 47 times. Yeah. You're right. My bad. Part of pizza pants is turning over a new leaf and recognizing when, you, when you've been wrong. And I brought Alex, the decorations. You. Yes, thank you. Yeah, that's great. I, I just want to say that I'm so glad that you accepted ham and pineapple as part of the pizza pants. Oh, and, and Shirley here, she 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 brought you food every single day that you were working yeah. on your speech. No, no, I'm. You're making a good point. <laughs> I'm turning over a new leaf, um, and I think that we should wear pizza pants. Yeah, you still didn't thank Shirley for the food. And Robert here, Robert here, he drove you to and from every one of your rehearsals. Oh yeah, it's even true. even though his mother was sick. Um, yeah. yeah mm. he, he really went out there for you. Yeah. God, and he also, thank you, you also gave me one of your kidneys. Yeah, that as well, I, yeah. yeah. So we should split the profits. Joshua? Yeah. So, uh, you know why, why I brought you all down to the station. Uh, your boss has said that you were entirely the reason why people went out wearing pizza pants, which has led to a huge spate of uh, people being mauled to death by dogs, oh. uh, also being mauled to death by small children. Um, you know, I mean, this is you know, the third worst clothing related disaster of the last hundred years. And he's and blaming us. He's saying that it's entirely the fault of you three, uh, that you're really the entire uh, force behind it. And basically he's saying that you're the ones responsible and will probably Tag out everyone except Kevin. for this. Tag out everyone except for Kevin. It's all them. 
the, those three to all of them. Tag everyone back in. Well, I mean, he, he listed up. everything that you did. I mean, from driving him to bringing the decorations. Yeah, I don't to... even like pizza, though. Like, I don't no. know what you're talking about. Uh, we yeah, we employees. Yeah, I'm a vegetarian. I, I, yeah, I wouldn't even go near that. I mean, we have Edit. video Sweet. here of Sweet. what happened to people. Oh, well, you made it. Great. Yeah, um, I'm, I am five minutes late. I am. I, well, I, I like to be five minutes early because it makes my life easier. You know, this new horizon thing you've got me on, you know, I know you think you're, I'm your daughter. No, you're my daughter. See, I'm so confused now. Oh my goodness. You made me watch these TED Talks. And um, now I'm afraid of being late or being early. I, it's just so confusing, Ethel. Mom, just be, just be you. Just show up whenever you need to show up. It's, it's easy. I just want to make sure you always wear pizza pants. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was speaking of that. I actually gave them to a dog who was very hungry. Oh, and thank goodness. Because I see that I'm kind of wrapped in a towel down here. But it's okay. I mean, you know, he was so hungry. I just oh. couldn't. Resist. It is part of our humanity to the rest of the world to feed the dogs. You know, and some people just misunderstand all that. They just think it's people are getting mauled. I'm like, no, the dogs are hungry. Just give away your pants. Do you know the TED Talk you made me watch about um, being kind? Uh -huh. um, Carol my life. and Ethel, um, I just want you to know, I mean, I'm your grandmother and your granddaughter. I mean, your mother and your daughter. I... I'm it's so okay, Grandma. I'm, it's so okay. I'm, hey, Mom. Just be you. Just be you, Grandma. Okay. Um, the pants. The pants yeah. have melted to me, and I'm oh, very, yeah. very scared. Oh, you. <laughs> Wait a minute. You gave her the ones that melt? You see, you didn't. I had the pineapple ham one. Well, she just got just the solid cheese. Yeah. Tag out Cassie and Donna. Okay. Um. So for your last will and testament, we need to know how we're going to divide uh, the money and all the property. Um, oh, I have it. It's in my pocket. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Um, it was in my pocket. Melted cheese. Oh. Melted. Uh, well, melted. I'm sorry, my thoughts come out out loud sometimes. It's, a, I, it's an affliction. I noticed that. I, I understand that. Okay, so uh, grandmother, granddaughter and daughter sister uh so oh, i'm leaving it all to cats Ooh, ooh. um yeah we don't have that type of setup here we it's only for uh actual humans you're telling me you're telling me an old lady that i can't leave all of my money to cats yeah, we're not able, because then how would we get paid if the money went to cats? Like, cats well, aren't able to have to put... a little kitty executor who is... Tag out everyone, bring in Joshua. Um, I mean... So, um, uh, sorry, uh, your, uh, Mr. Lloyd Weber, I'm sorry, your lordship, um, Sir Andrew, I'm not actually sure how to address you. Um, it seems that there was some confusion and uh, some old woman left you all of her money. Well, technically, she <laughs> left it to the show Cats. Um, mm. But well, yeah. So I have no room for any more money. I've made so much money in show business. I literally, I don't have any room for it. Oh, all right. Um, well, uh, I'm sure we could find a different Cats. Um, who will Good accept luck. this? Oh, Tag right. out Kevin and Joshua and bring in uh, all of the cast of Cats. Uh, he turned away money. He turned it away. Like we were going to get paid. 
We were actually going to get paid, and he turned it away. Ow. Oh. oh, so method. Oh, it's so not angelical. Mm -hmm. I think we should strike, honestly. I think we should do. Yeah, we I should str to. strike. I, Bustopher Jones, say that we absolutely should strike. But first, we should all sing about who we are and why we're going on strike. It's always bad, isn't it? They just want us to sing, don't they? Memories. And then we should sweep. We should sweep. You, I've never been kept for an interview before, but I, I was on time and I am prepared. You, you, you gave me the address, you sent a limo, pick me up, I'm here, I'm ready. You do realize that we're not looking for a hedgehog for this position. We specifically uh, specified a uh, squirrel, so. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't bold. Maybe we're not using a big enough font, uh, Frank. I mean, maybe it's really our fault. You know? Yeah. You know, maybe let's give the hedgehog well, a chance. It's, it's not it's easy for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Specify a certain kind of hedgehog, then I qualify. Just got a good point there. Okay. I'd like to hear this one out. Yeah. Yeah, good. I have a very- How long have you been doing musical theater? Forever, forever. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, forever. I oh. mean, okay. I was at the theater. That's where I was born. Right. I just wanna say that obviously you might be nervous because I'm a dog. And yes, in my, a younger me, I would have been chasing you around and barking like crazy, but I- That's so great, Frank. You're, you're, you're so under control, I love it. You're over Thank that you. now, you. right? I mean, you know, the yeah, just, the thrill. Right, just, if you don't mind, don't, not a lot of sudden movements, because sometimes- <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yes. You can be mistaken for a toy, because there are a lot of hedgehog toys. So we have, I, yeah. we would, just we'll have to scarf those up and make sure that- <laughs> Listen, I could yeah. tell you, stories after Sonic came out, my mailbox. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, I, I think you have all the qualifications. Hey, um, Al, hey Alvin's here. Alvin's here. All right. I'm oh. here. I'm here. Oh. Oh. Alvin. Whoa. Yes. Alvin. Yes. I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> I was just, you I know. couldn't get in. Yo, no one would let me in the door, so, but I'm here. I was able to part of the interview process. <laughs> How consistent are you? Yes. Oh, that is great. What kind of squirrel are you? It's, I am Alvin the squirrel. What do you mean? Like, it's I'm the so one and only a... Alvin. He, he does have a point. He is the only Alvin yes. the squirrel. Yes. Okay. He's the only one. Okay. Why is I, a hedgehog yeah. here? What? what you... Well, we're open. We're open to different ideas. We may be doing a squirrel hedgehog uh, mixer. Alvin, I have to let you know, I understand that you're already famous and popular and people mm. know your name. Mm. But Alvin, you, you need a sidekick. You need, you need a hedgehog. But I have Simon and, 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 and Theodore and Dave. I love it. Well, we're thinking okay, that, I'm, you know, open it, open it a little broader. The family brings in a hedgehog. Oh, that's great. I've been meaning to get rid of them for a long time. This is going to be awesome. Yes. Woohoo. All right. We yes. have snacks. Sometimes we have uh, craft services. We have food on the set. Um, are you guys going to be able to, you know, take it easy on the nuts? Because there's other people involved in the project. I, I can restrain myself. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Alvin? Yeah, 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 that won't be a problem at all. It's like, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm good. I'm good. As long as I'm but that right. includes not Back out everyone but uh, Alex. 
So, um, anyway, so, uh, Alvin, uh, why don't you tell uh, the rest of the group about how you've been doing, uh, you know, holding off on uh, the nuts? <laughs> it's, been, it's been difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just focus on my role. That's it. I just focus on my role and, and, and just, that's all I do. I say my lines, you know, and I just look at the hedgehog and, and that's all I do. Like, it's so hard. I, I keep my cup of coffee all the time. <gasps> okay. Uh, Muriel, we will get to you about uh, your coffee issues. And then she's like, yeah, Mariel always wants to talk before me. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I can't so hear Elvin so clearly because he has all those nuts in his cheeks. Um, Alvin, nuts? Alvin I brought you some extra acorns. So I'm just going to leave them here in front of you. What did you bring me? No, don't do it, Alvin. Don't do it. Alvin? Eat the nuts. Eat the nuts. No, Alvin, don't. Drink the coffee. I want the nuts. Eat the nuts. Alvin. Don't do it. No. Ah! Oh. Weep. <laughs> Don't do it. Like sweep. Eat the nuts. Eat the nuts. <laughs> Thank you all. Give it up for team one of the Intercity Long Form Improv Jam. Presented by Michael Livy and the Keys. Woo! Woo! Live in this, oh, um, Michael. Instagram. Oh, okay, never mind then. Uh, speaking of which, um, hey, uh, did you know that Intercity, Intercity has a merch shop that doesn't really sell merch, it sells uh memories no does it do we sell it okay no here's the here's the deal um that all right all right stop the stop the audio it's confusing me we have merch we have stuff like mugs we have stuff like other mugs we have third new mugs and i was gonna take my shirt off um and expose i have a shirt on we have stickers we, we used to have, have stickers we used to have, oh yeah i don't know why what the stickers went off the website anyways oh, wow. um um we're not really making money off of these. It's more so of like, uh, we didn't know how long this was going to be a thing for. So um, just to remember all the things, uh, just being on online improv and just coming here every Sunday. Um, that's why we have these things. If you want to remember them, uh, consider going to our Etsy shop at Intercity Improv. We have shirts and mugs and other things. I got to find what happened to the other stuff. But yeah, get a mug, get a taco mug, which I'm not going to expose because we can't show the mug on air. Uh, but yeah, definitely check out a shirt. Um, in the summer when I'm not teaching anymore, some of these items might be going away and be replaced with our actual inner city improv merchandise. So um, get it while still around before I replace them all. Um, and then whatever is left is going to be the permanent uh, merchandise. So get them. Um, if you were part of the year of online improv, then definitely pick these up before they're no longer there or just before I forget. I'm, I'm going to probably forget to replace these. Um, by the way, every time I, uh, we sell something, I lose two cents. <coughs> not sure how accurate it is, but again, we're not making money. I'm literally losing money um, by making these available. So please uh, buy a thing and support, spread the word on your body. Speaking of bodies, um, this next body is one of the most awesomest humans I know. Uh, hosting team two tonight is David Shapiro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's our first Woo! musical team of the night. Uh, our top timekeeper is Josh Jenkins. You there, Josh? Just want to make sure. Arrives from the Josh ether. That's what he's doing. And our first, and so when I call your name, turn it on. This is an all-star team. Brian Sebi from Wheaton, Illinois. Right, but just so you know, Brian Sebi does have legs. I saw them yesterday. Yes, and I confirmed that David is a real person as well. <laughs> Angel Cadiz from Sevilla, Spain. Laura Zaro from San Francisco. Michael Ostrowskis from San Bruno. And Faustino Solis from Las Vegas. That's your musical team, and you got your timer. Ooh.
that sounded very old town roady for me as well. So I brought my friend the horse here. Everyone would say hi to the horse. Nay. Nay. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, speaking of things, uh, what also is a fun thing that you put on your hand and turn it into a puppet? That's not a sock or a brown paper bag. Unicorn. Paper bag. Unicorns. We're going to use unicorns as an example. Unicorns. Sorry, Baby Yoda. You're trademarked. Uh, unicorns, thank you very much. Unicorns. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my lo oh, gosh, I forgot my logo is a unicorn. Isn't that crazy? You know what's crazy? Why do we have so many unicorns in this house? I don't know. They're popping out left and right. <sighs> did you did you go out and buy the unicorn spray like I told you to? I did, and it worked heavenly. Look at this one right here, nibbling on a blade of grass. Wait, you you bought the attract the unicorn spray, not the repellent. Because I need to tell you something. I have to be honest. I just love unicorns. No, no. What's wrong with that? Well, to be honest, that is something that I didn't know about you. Oh. You never told me that you liked unicorns before. Bum, bum, bum. I know you like lizards and frogs and turtles. Those too. But those unicorns, I want to throw them out the door. I didn't think it was a big deal. I didn't think it was a big deal. Hey, I thought most people like unicorns for real. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I agree with you. They are very beautiful. And the horns on their heads are quite entertaining. They are! Look at them dance now! But look at all the piles of colorful poo! I don't know what I'm going to do! They make a mess, now the cleaning is up to you! Whoa, we have... I didn't think it was a big deal! And I just feel a little real! Although I probably should have said something before we even started a relationship, but I didn't think it was gonna be a big deal! Look at them dance! Look at them do a coordinated kick line! Isn't that beautiful? How could you not love a kick lining array of unicorns? I think you're right. They can stay. But of this mess they're making, that you've gotta pay. But I'll pay for a cleaner to clean up the mess. I'll hire somebody, no other like the rest. Because also, I don't think Unicorn, uni unicorn Kingdom's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. Big of a deal. Big of a deal. It's, it's, I think I'm in love with the unicorns now. You're still in love with me, right? Uh, put a horn on your head and we'll see. Hey. Sweep. All right. Yeah. I didn't think this through, but if we find it. Yeah, oh my god, bro. We find the real unicorn. Oh. I wanted to shoot it, but now I'm having second thoughts. Oh my god, no, and don't tell mom and dad that he's, it is here, okay? Oh. Don't tell them. No, we won't tell them. I won't tell them. Sibling secret. Sibling secret. Okay, Jack. It's, it's our secret. Okay? Oh. Yeah, I, 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 didn't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, I, Jack. I, got, so, I got so wrapped up in the, the, the finding it that I'm not sure what I want to do when we do find it. If we find oh, it. Okay, Jack. It, it's like... Oh my god. It, it's him. Oh my god. He, it's, he's here. Unicorn. Unicorn. Hey, you're such a 
We love you. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah, it's like our little baby. <laughs> our little baby. It's not a human. <laughs> It's kind and trendy. It's a unique unicorn. Yeah. Come on, Jake. Hey, is there a little unicorn foal? <laughs> Yeah. Finding you was my goal. There's been lots that we've been through, and I never expected to actually find you. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, it's so cute. Unicorn. You are our new life, Baby you unicorn. unicorn. So You're little the... and cute. So little and cute. Baby unicorn. unicorn. I think I'm gonna. Oh, what? Wait. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, he's yes. running. It ate its own horn that it ran off. Yeah. Jack, Lex. Hey, get off my property. The petting zoo closed hours ago. Oh. oh. Let's go back home. Yeah, let's find a new unicorn. Yeah. Yeah, Please. let's go, Jack. Please. We have got to do something about these unicorns. We are supposed to be the cutest little animals in this in this place, and these unicorns, they're encroaching in our territory. <laughs> yeah. I agree completely. So what are we going to do about it? we got to strike back. They're so big, even compared to a deer. Yeah. And majestic. And they smell I mean, good, too. I'm just a little old mouse, but they're bigger. Yeah, and big. somehow cuter. I'm supposed to be the cute one. Right? Right? They're Damn it! Big. I'm cute! Unicorns are... Yeah. We gotta strike. We gotta strike back. We gotta strike back now. We gotta fight. We gotta fight back. We gotta throw it down. Those unicorns! They think they're the best, but we're gonna show them, drive them back to their nest. I think they nest, I don't know how many unicorns. Gotta fight back now. <laughs> gotta fight back now. There's, look at them, there's more of them. Gotta fight back now. Fight back. Those unicorns have had their heyday. Literally. We're gonna make them pay. Please, please. Uh, I'm a customer of this pet shop. I'm gonna take the three background dancers of Angel's camera and then take them in a plastic bag. Yeah, thank you. I'll be taking these now. Uh, cute gerbils are gonna be fun for my kids. Snubbed again. Bob's again. We're going to strike back. Back. Nope. I guess the music just not coming. That's just we're just not cute enough anymore. Well, at least we have each other. That's right. Even though I'm huge and you're just a little little mouse. You're always dear to me. Ah. Uh, uh, tag in uh, Angel and Company. <laughs> this is welcome to the first choir practice of Unicornia from Concordia College, somewhere in Minnesota. Yay! Yay! I understand that you have a specialty in singing in unison. 
<laughs> oh yes, we have. <laughs> And we're going to give permission to sing in a language other than English to show people how the struggles are real. Wow, que bien! Can you give us a looking, please? I mean, a song. Yes, we are the new unicorns. Yes, los nuevos unicornios. All around the world, there are unicorns. There are all species of animals. Hay muchas, muchas criaturas. Hay un poco de todo. All around the world. All around the world, there is mystery. There is fire. Creatures of the night All around the world There is green, there is blue, there is red, there is white, there is no Hay mucho, mucho, mucho más All around the world Mucho, mucho, mucho más Y aún, aún, aún más. It's so beautiful, can you? Around the world. Can you be the headliner for our tree lighting ceremony? Oh, yeah. Oh, it'd be so wonderful. We'll see you next year and sweep. Unicorn meat tastes just like chicken. <laughs> oh. And also somehow cotton candy. Right? Right? You know, I was really apprehensive when you said you wanted to take me out to this unicorn meat restaurant, but I gotta say, this stuff is delicious. Please tag out, um, tag in uh, Michael. I only have maybe moments left to live. Oh no, no. They You're wanted, too beautiful. They wanted steaks and they got it. Oh. Avenge me. Oh. Avenge me at this weirdly themed <coughs> unicorn diner. <coughs> they, they just cut the meat right out of you while you were alive. Oh, yeah, it's like it's like a it's like a tree, like they cut the branch off. But the tree lives, but then they decided to take an appendage and I'm still breathing. You don't need to explain it, I can see it clearly. Ta yeah. Tag back in Laura and me. Avenge me! And you know the great crazy thing is it just grows back. You know, magic. I, yeah, I think it's so cool the way they just we just get There's the like thing one back. unicorn providing all of this. <sighs> it's so cool. We get to just point at a appendage and they cut it off. Mm -hmm. hey, let's yeah. invite all our friends to this restaurant. I'm gonna call. Yeah, you know what? I feel now, like now, I could now. get like a full song in maybe without being interrupted by Faustino. Good luck with that, but hopefully yeah. our friends will all be coming in soon. Oh, look! <laughs> <laughs> look, look, here they come. Hey guys, come on in. Would you like some unicorn meat? Heck yeah. Yes. Here you go, here you go. Thank you. Unicorn meat, it tastes so very sweet. Unicorn meat, it's the best you'll ever have. I came to this restaurant, not expecting much, but now I'm a My dear, I have a secret to tell you. I know I've been there for you around the house. 
But the secret inside is that I hate those unicorns because I'm truly an evil mouse. Unicorns are tasty. Mm. Come on, Jim, show her your truth, my dear. our other friend scene 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 ah! and that's the end ah! the scene ah! is done I'm just a head now oh. ah! now we see who's the cute one Michael Olivier. What's that, guys? Yeah. Get up for Team Two and Angel and Company from uh, Teatro Improvisado. I forgot the name of the theater. Sevilla. Uh, <laughs> yeah, is, isn't it like it's, four in the morning there, Angel? Because you all are insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Speaking of insane, we go now from our friends in Sevilla, Spain. Uh, which, by the way, is super amazing. And we take our eyes into um, uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, which our uh, sketch for the evening is coming from. This is so... Uh, uh, hold on a second. Uh, I've, oh, gosh, I forgot her name. Woo! Oh, no. But anyways, uh, this is Sarah's... Uh, no, I forgot the name of the person who submitted this sketch, and I apologize. But anyways, this is Sarah trying... Um, online dating in 2021 uh, sketch being created from uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Give it up. Woo. And I didn't test the audio, so we'll see what happens. Nothing. Not hearing anything. Yep. <laughs> Oops. All right. Well, sometimes we can't have everything we want in life, can we? Hold on a second. Uh, Hi, Petra. Okay, uh, let's do this. Oh. Here we go. So instead of using these dating apps, I thought I'd make my profile and just put we it. We see your desktop, but we can YouTube. hear it. All right, we'll try this a third time. Boyfriend that way. Uh, apps Did it. I thought I'd make my profile and just put it straight onto YouTube so I think I've got better chances of finding a boyfriend that way <laughs> hi Pedro I'm Sarah I'm a bubbly beautiful humble surgeon who loves loves to cook I'm fluent in dress languages and my spare time is spent playing the piano and the saxophone. Oh, saxophone for lonely people. I'm basically just, just doing whatever I can to help the community. I also run a... <laughs> an animal rescue centre, mainly for disabled <laughs> rabbits. So if you want to jet on over here, you could go for a romantic stroll through my big grounds that I own. Oh gosh. <laughs> Let me 
know. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Who's Pedro? Pedro Pascal, obviously. The <laughs> actor. I thought the point was to cast a wide net, not an attempt to address Pedro Pascal directly. Yeah, you need to aim high though, and I want that one. <laughs> Why are you dressed so casually if you're trying to impress him? Well, I can't look like I'm trying too hard. That's just sad. Why did you lie so much in your profile? I just did what you told me to do. That was just a random idea. I didn't think you'd actually do it. It's a really bad idea. And you declared yourself a beautiful, humble surgeon. Well, it's kind of like surgery, what I do. How's that? Because I have people in stitches. <laughs> Do you like that one? She's not listening. Who is that? That's my manager. She's not very good. So you say you play the piano and saxophone. I've only heard you play two tunes on the piano from memory, so that doesn't count. And I've never actually heard you play the saxophone. I lent it out because I got so good at it. It just became really boring. Helping the community, running an animal sanctuary. I picked up two water bottles in the street and rescued three chickens. You can probably hear them now. I mean, what more can I do? So. Well, three chickens does not count as an animal rescue centre. Will you stop? You're making me look really bad in front of Senor Pascal. I know he wants to dance with me in his tight jeans. It's just a matter of time. And I'm, I'm prepared to wait, so. Just wait and see. Okay. You never know. Exactamente. Moving right along, let's go ahead and introduce Laura Zaro for hosting Team 3. <laughs> oh, and Laura Zaro tonight is being played by Laura Zaro is being played by Laura Zaro is being played by Laura Zaro is being played by I completely forgot Laura, Laura Zaro had no idea she was hosting oh she's not hosting we team not, three because no, I'm hosting oh, team phew, three that scared me okay Laura, just, uh, introduce <laughs> Jess all right okay and here's Jess I'm introducing her Thank you, Laura, for being introduced by Faustino, for introducing me to introduce Team 3. And Team 3 will be time-kept by Kevin Wilcox. Woo! And he will let us know when we are, or when you are, getting close to the end. On this team, we have David S. from Chicago, Illinois. We have Jose Zapata from Omaha, Nebraska. We have Josh Jenkins from Las Vegas, Nevada. We have Elise Ivino from San Francisco area, and Woo! we have Adam Grudner from New York City, and Jen C from New Jersey, and Greg Little, the whale, from Berkeley, California, and Alex Lee from La Cañada, California. Woo! Thank you, Team 3. We're a big group of eight. What are other things that comes in groups of eight? Chocolate-covered strawberries. Gatorade. This is tentacle. Lost chickens. I Pro balls. Strawberries first, and it's a food, and it's a good food. So I thought we'd go with chocolate covered strawberries. Covered strawberries. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you like it. I. It's our uh, second week. Uh, anniversary of I wasn't expecting anything. I didn't get you anything. I'm sorry. A lot of people don't celebrate the second week of meeting somebody, but it's just <laughs> Yeah. But, oh, these look delicious. I actually do have a, a little bit of a fruit allergy, though. Oh, yeah. But 
look what I got you for our second week anniversary. Oh, yeah. I wasn't expecting anything. It's not. Wow. This is. Huh. This is more than anybody has ever gotten for my second week of meeting somebody else. I mean, to be fair, I just gave you what you just gave me that I can't consume, but. Give it back. A little bit, but I mean, I could have given it to someone else, but I chose to give it back to you, so. I recognize that. I knew I recognized. Now I feel, I feel like I should have recognized it sooner. <laughs> um, <Okay>. But <laughs> um, thank you. These are really good. I, I, I know this is a good brand. I, yeah. Huh. Do you like it? I, I do. Thanks. Thanks again, by the way. You're welcome. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> what do you, um, what do you do? What do I, what do I do? Yeah. I mean, I, well, I, I mean, we kind of had discussed this, but I, you know, I do hair. All right. We're at the hair. Remember, place. remember our second date, <laughs> I get your haircut. <laughs> It makes sense. It's all coming together now, actually. Yeah. Um, did you cut my hair the last time? I feel like, uh, this, yeah, of course, of course. I mean, I guess we were pretty inebriated by that time, but didn't you, don't you notice? Like, it was, it was mild. Like, it was just a little bit. I gave you a little bit of a trim. Hey, tag out, Elise. So, um, yeah, I heard from a friend of Elise's that it's not going too well between you. I'm sorry to hear that. I think I did you get that. Did you get that feeling that the date wasn't going well? Because I I got the feeling after it that I may have thought it was a date. She may not have. She may she may see it as more of like a she works there and I am a customer. Sort of thing. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Not quick on the uptake. Okay. That's the impression I, I got after. Honestly, I, I think she thinks that's one of the reasons why it's not working because I'm pretty sure she thought those were dates, especially, I mean, she cut your hair. You would ask her, I mean, it's not that you were her customer cutting hair. She willingly did that. And we were Freeze. Um, tag everyone out. <laughs> Hi, welcome to uh, Awkward Guys Anonymous, the... <laughs> Work for guys that uh, can't tell a woman being nice to them and can't tell from flirting and uh, I'm awkward Adam. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Hi, uh, my name's Pete and um, to try to cut, break the ice, I always just make a joke about my name and it usually doesn't go over well. <laughs> I bet it doesn't, Brother Pete. Go on. <laughs> oh, uh, my turn to talk. I, I thought we were all making introductions. Uh, well, it's uh, an awkward group. What can yeah. I say? <laughs> nice to meet you. Thanks. <laughs> um, definitely the la the last time, um, I, I just made a joke. Um, it it was just believed that I was. Uh, talking about something other than my name and uh i got i got maced deservingly so because because my name i should just change it i should just change it thank you thank you for sharing brother pete all right uh the gentleman to your left uh i think he tried to say something uh, but you know us <laughs> who knows you yeah Cross fingers. <laughs> oh, hey, hi. Hi, everybody. Yeah, my name is uh, John. And um, hi, John. Hi, John. Hey. Um, yeah, Howdy. I, I've, I've just always been told that I, you know, was weird. And I just don't don't really understand why. I don't understand what it's why people would say that about me. I mean, you know, I just. When I meet somebody new, I just like to untie their shoes and then tie them back on. I, I just feel I'm doing a service for them. And Yeah, John, no, uh, yeah. Let, let me help you out. All right. Usually when people meet each other, they don't untie or tie each other's shoes. Um, that might be why people perceive you as weird. Sweet.
Mm. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so this is our jam plan. We're making strawberry jam. Ooh. Oh. We talked about this. We yeah. need to make 36 jars of jam by tomorrow. That's a, wait, wait, 36, 30, we're doing 36? Yes, because we're trying to submit it for the farmer's market. There's auditions for the farmer's market I tomorrow. Know. I, I, know, I know, it's it's the audition process. It's the most fierce audition process. It's the most prestigious farmer's market that there is. And we need to make the best. We, God, we, we're, we're not gonna, we're, we're not gonna be able to do, do, do okay, I'm uh, sorry. I don't mean to be a negative Nelly. Okay. Let's do, huh? We talked about this. We were gonna be able to yeah. do this. We have the two big pots. How, how yes. long does it take to make jam? We have, yeah, I, I, don't we have the recipe? Yeah, I, you know, we, we have the recipe. I just didn't realize we, we, we were like 36. I was like thinking, oh, we could do 10 or something like, uh, no. something like that. I mean, I, I mean, I have dogs. Huh? Hold on. Huh? Hey. Hey, so I uh, just wanted to come by and as the champion of the strawberry jam making festival for the last eight years <laughs> running in a row. Oh. I just wanted to come by and check to see the competition. <laughs> okay, why are you... <laughs> you tell him, boss. Why are you in our living room? <laughs> I, I just wanted to see what kind of operation you've got going on here. And those are the strawberries. You're not even organic. <laughs> <laughs> not, not much of an operation. What? Okay, just so you know, why do you think we would put... Any. Let's sweep, and let's sweep and go to the tag out, Jose, and let's go to the judging. Okay. I, having been elected <sighs> the king of the jam parade, come on, come on. along with the rest of my council, I'm here to judge you on the accuracy and the fluidity and the elasticity of your jelly or Jam. You may speak. Oh, I wasn't saying anything. I was just listening really intently for the for the winner. As me and my counselors know, I will ask my counselors, how long does it take to sufficiently make a jam or a jelly? Well, weeks. From my experience, uh, usually take like a couple of days, maybe two or three at the most. But of course, if you feel, yeah, yes. if, you, if you guys are feeling lucky, you guys can make it in like a whole hour. Yeah. We have a technique that we use, actually. Technique, you say? Yeah. I say it can't be done. I say you cheated. Cheated? We would I never cheat. Cheaters! Somehow. There's no cheating. <laughs> There's no cheating in strawberries. There's no way to make an acceptable <laughs> jam or jelly this good in only an hour. You must maybe, just maybe, you've met the best jam maker that ever lived. There's only one solution. She's really good. <laughs> What's the best? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you tell the boss. Jose, How Jose, Jose, just Jose, an hour. Mr. Jose please. Take Mr. Jose, come back. <laughs> yes, yes. Listen, taste this. If what she's saying is true, it's changed the whole dynamic. Taste her jelly. Champ, don't taste it, champ. Don't it taste, taste it. it. Why? Hey, taste it, taste it. Just... Why would I put that disgusting paste Let's in shove it in his mouth already. Oh, okay. champ, champ, champ. We gotta prove that it's the worst. And it's, we only know that if you taste it. Oh, oh my God. Mm -hmm. I, this is, everything I've ever known about jam is just wrong now. I, this is the best thing. It's like my mouth is feeling heaven, like there's bursts of light. Oh my God, this is the best jam I've ever had. I'm a fraud. <laughs> okay, I, if I, that's I what I can do in an hour, imagine what I can do in she's, a day. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's, she is good. I, sorry I ever doubted you, honey. Uh, tag out everyone but Elise and Alex. 
Hi, I, I come to you on this rainy day. You guys are the new champs. I'm going to be your heckling goon from now on. <laughs> we got our own heckling goon? Oh my, uh, yeah, oh my well, god. Whatever you want. I, I could do I could do accents. I could no. do splits. How hey, could you, hey! How could you leave me? You're not no, the champ had, anymore. We had They're eight the good, champs. Eight good years. Don't throw it away, please. No, I've lost everything. I don't know. Dude, yeah, damn right you lost me. Get out of here, loser. Sad, sad when people just fall just from the top. Yeah. Yeah. I'm best in short burst, so I'll see you guys next competition. Sweet. <sighs> All right. Here you go, Steve. Here. Here. Oh, 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 oh. I made a smoothie entirely out of the top part of the strawberries. It's just the leafy greens. Awesome. It tastes a little bit like juicy part of the Right? I think I think we can revolution like revolutionize the whole game though with this. We can mix it in with, with the jams that have started hitting the street from from the new makers and yeah, it's just like yeah, and the one hour jam people and the, the ten minute abs and you can just put them all together. Yes, we're we're doing like less strawberry. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I got, uh, keep Josh. Look, at Jamba Juice here, we take our IP very seriously and mm -hmm. heard you've been making smoothies out of the tops of strawberries and that's what we've been doing for years. So we're going to have to ask you to stop immediately. Cease and desist. Oh, uh, thank you. This is the, the most exciting thing that I've ever gotten from seeing somebody for two weeks. Wow. <laughs> Um, I, I got you uh, an edible massage candle. Jamba Juice stole our idea in the past. I know they traveled back in time. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm sure you were in current Wait. time, folks. And uh, Jamba Wait. Juice corporate meeting six months ago. We got to make our strawberries sexier. Ideas. I uh, watched Time Cop last night. <laughs> John claude Van Damme. I, 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 I just got to say, it's a really, really horrible movie. Um, but he has I, abs. That's accounting sexy. Here, accounting here. Uh, we actually uh, are running low on expenses. And uh, so we have, a, we have a lot of strawberry scraps. It's probably all we can do. Strawberry scraps. Let's sell the scraps to the people. And we'll say they're healthy. And then when mm -hmm. other people start actually doing that themselves, we'll sue them. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Elise, Robin. you're promoted. Oh, wow. Okay, great. Chief Financial Hufflepuff. Honored. <laughs> yes. Take my office. I'm going to the moon. Do you guys want to watch Doctor Who? Uh, tag out everyone, but Elise. <laughs> Chief Financial Hufflepuff? Yeah. Well, honey, yeah. Uh, no. Uh, what are we gonna do? Because I'm Executive Director Gryffindor, I mean. Sorry, I'm from the IRS. I just came to tell you <laughs> that your time is up, uh, actually for the entire set. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> This has been Team C of the Interstate Long Form Improv Jam, presented by, once again, our wonderful MD for the evening, Michael Olivia from San Mateo, California. San Mateo County represent. And I'm not turning on my screen because I don't want to mess up this transition as we show, drum roll, time for it. Uh, the What's on the Menu segment 
Ah, care to join us and share uh, what we have on our beautiful menu uh, that we have offering at Inner City. Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm wasting time. Uh, we have this show every Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific. Um, that's you're here right now, and we're going to be here for a long time. So uh, come by next week as we uh, reveal uh, our headliner is leading the show and uh, whatever headlines are to come. Uh, we also have toast and jam. Uh, if you love strawberries and you love jam, then you better show up to this thing every Saturday morning at 10 p.m. Pacific, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific. Um, you get to play in three uh, separate long form sets, uh, 15 minutes each with two minute cooldowns. I said that right. We switched the times so you have more playing time. If people didn't want to talk to each other at the end, just wanted to play, and that's what that's for. You get 45 minutes of full playing time if you join Toast and Jam. More information, um, check the website in a little bit uh, at the end of this presentation. Open mic, we're having it tomorrow. Um, that's run by myself, uh, the Michaels, uh, maybe James Shapiro and Conan, who's going to show up. If you have any talents like things that are improv or non improv related, or cooking pasta or setting things on fire, we literally will take any uh, any kind of performance, five minute slots, uh, 20 max, uh, but we never fill up on it. Um, please do register at the link listed below. If you need that link, um, one of the volunteers will send that to you. Um, but please share your talents uh, tomorrow, 6 p.m. Pacific, at the Inner City Open Mic. Short form jam will happen not this Tuesday, but next week, Tuesday. One of our lovely volunteers will lead you in an hour and then change time of awesome long form. So uh, next one's May 11th. And we do this every other Tuesday. Go check that out. And also, it's not streamed. So even if you do all the shenanigans, no one's going to see it except the people you're playing with. Isn't that amazing? Um, we also mentioned uh, Merch Shop earlier. That's our SC page. Voila. Um, if you have any links, any uh, anything you want to promote, uh, you can dump those links. Um, uh, just find us, the Inner City Improv Community, and that's where you'll find it. all the cool things. I forgot to change the banner. Is a banner. We'll change that when I remember. Okay. Um, here's the thing. Uh, if you are if you belong to a troop that has been performing online, or if you belong to a troop that hasn't performed online and would like a shot and try it out to a well perform performing audience. And by the way, we have about 24 people um, here in the meeting and 13 people watching on Facebook. Everyone say hi, Facebook. Hi, Facebook. Hey, Facebook. Hi, Facebook. Hi. Hola, Facebook. I also just realized people will also be watching this on YouTube. Someone say hi, YouTube. Hi, uh, hi YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Anyways, if you belong to a troop it. that's already performed online or looking for or on a troop that would like to get experience of it, um, send, uh, come uh, email us or reach out to me personally. We'd love to showcase you. Yeah, team or know an amazing team that the community would appreciate. Yeah, send them our way. As well as any video sketches that you know on the internet, uh, we'll, contact the, we'll contact the creators so we can share their content and help promote their stuff as well. Any musical directors that want to share the keys, we boast about like five or six rotating MDs here at New City Improv, which is amazing for online. Isn't that crazy? Uh, as well as any jammers that are looking for a home online to play. And we know there's all other places to come to. This is the one that we have every Sunday night if that time works for them. So please send them our way as well. And that will be it for Bon Appetit for the sets. And I'm also going to uh, magically apparition the um, the host for team four because I messed that up last time. Um, and they're gonna come up on screen. Give it up for Alex from La Canada, California. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyway, thank you, Faustino, and uh, give it up for Michael uh, Olivier again for uh, because now it's time for Team Four, which is our last musical team uh, uh, of the evening. So uh, please turn your cameras up. Don Sloven from Book, uh, sorry, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, Nelson Morgan from Oklahoma City. Uh, Susan, uh, Scott Scola, sorry, sorry for spelling name, from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Jim Robotten, uh, from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, Don Robertson from Corpus Christi, Texas. And this is Team 4. Woo! Does anybody have a suggestion? Pearls of Wisdom. Pearls of wisdom. Thank you. Pearls of wisdom. wisdom. Thank you. <clears throat> well, I've got a handful of.
pearls of wisdom. Here, would you like some? Uh, definitely. Here, just take them all. Uh, take them thank all. Thank you. <laughs> You're so welcome. Oh, my. <laughs> if you look real close, it has stuff written on them. Oh, it sure does. Chew thoroughly before you swallow. Wow, that's pretty wise. <laughs> Look both ways before you cross the street. Ooh, that's another good one. Do not cast me before swine. Wow, that's deep. Wow. Well, thank you so much. I, I thought that I'd never see these again after my house got broken into. I remember I, I, sitting in my living room with my mom and, and she would just let me play with them as long as I kept them in my hand really, really carefully. Hmm. Thank you for finding them. You know, it, it, it was uh, a pleasure that I could do it for you. I know how much they mean to you and I don't know how anybody can really live without their pearls of wisdom. For many years, I, I go to these to, to get wisdom, like if, if I needed help, you know? And did, did you find them? Did they come in handy? They, they came in very handy. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm so glad that you got them. I'm These so are... glad. Okay, sorry. <laughs> These pearls meant so much to me, and I know that you can see that I'm almost in tears that you found them again. I'm so glad that I could find them for you. May your dreams all come true. Thank you. I did it just for you. I did it just for you You're such a good friend Someone friends to the end And now as a special thank you I give you one of the pearls oh, Keep it with you it says, I love you. May my dream just come true. I'm so glad that you love me. And I definitely love you. had to think of some way to say it. We've been friends for so long. And I didn't want my feelings to be shown to you wrong. I'm glad that that wasn't too forward. I love you. I love you. pearl of wisdom now my wishes have all come true finally somebody loves me and it's you hello hey Dora. is that you I thought of pearl of wisdom they, they talk to you too. 
Wow. Girls of wisdom. Girls of wisdom. Girls of wisdom. They do. They do. They really, they really talk to you. You know, you would think there'd be some honor among thieves. It seems that somebody stole our pearls right after we stole the pearls. <laughs> What's up with that? There's a bunch of schmucks around here. You can't trust anybody anymore. I'm telling you, I'm going to start putting my stuff into a box with a lock. Well, now, I keep my stuff in the fridge. I freeze it, and then I put it in some guts and stuff. Nobody would want to go in there. No, I know that. I know you would do that. And there's no reason to lock our house. Because thieves, they don't steal from one another. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You know, I knew I liked you ever since we started dating. Yeah, you know what? You're so fine feeling. You're a fine one, Stephen. A fine one, Stephen. You are just so much trouble. The kind of good trouble I like getting into. Yeah, you know. Do you know that? I know that. You know that. You know that. You know, you're a fine <laughs> filly. Not yeah. like the other games. You're a babe that's just around, round and round the town. You ain't like no other. Who's special to me? Yeah, I'm from Fishtown. And I'd give you something, girl. But unfortunately, they stole our pearls. Pearls. They stole, they stole our, our pearls. <laughs> they stole them pearls. The jewels. The jewels. And the diamonds. We got to do something about it. I say we are going to get them one way. Or they oh, spot them. Lord. You got it, Stephen. You got it, Marcy. You know it. You're my pal in crime. And you are mine in crime. You're mine of all, all times. Would you like a cigar? You're damn right I'd like a cigar. Because a good oh, cigar to smoke. All right. When I was a child, my mom used to say lots of things to me that I just can't remember anymore. Uh, listen, th this counseling session is, we got like five more minutes in this counseling session. If you could just get to the point, it'd be great. <laughs> the point is, I don't remember any of her pearls of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, Doc. Only so much I can do for a girl like you. Your brain is kind of mushy. You move around, it's rather fun. You can trust people's right. Listen, you're my memory. Sure. 
There's only so much that a girl like me can even do for myself. I need help. There's years that have been washed away. And I can't remember. Please help. I can help you. Got a brand new cutting technology called electroshock therapy. I think it might open up parts of your mind that have gone blank. It'll gotta be frank, there could be some side effects. You might forget your own name. Okay. But you very well could remember these essential details of your past. Give it a try. I can promise you won't die. Will you give it a try? Please promise, please promise that you will not die. You look bad on me. I'll do my best to not die. Not die. I, I don't want to die. I, don't want I just to want die. to. I just want to remember. That might be the only thing you'll ever remember. And it'll be my crowning achievement in this long career. Once you live long enough to write it down, I'll memorialize it. I'll put it on your gravestone if I have to. And it could be a famous case study someday. You're gonna make me famous. That's right, we'll think they'll not be me. Can't you see? I don't care what is. They're just me to an end. To help my bottom line and my prestige. Oh, I love myself so much. <laughs> This was supposed to be about me, not you. I don't know if it's something I want to do. Darling daughter, don't take any wooden nickels. <laughs> I think I remember. I'm writing it down. My no, darling daughter, kick all jerks to the curb. <laughs> Kick all jerks to the curb. Keep it you going, know. Doc. I'm sure there's more. There's got to be a third one. There's always Make sure the narcissists are out of your life. Get the narcissists out of my life. Like there's got to be other family members that told me things, too, that I just don't remember. The most important thing to know is that the answer is in the question. The answer is in the question. That was my uncle. Or actually, it's um, one half of the answer <laughs> is equal to one half of the question. That's too much math, Uncle. I think it was, you know. Hmm. Do you have any other relatives that have similar things? Just remember, wisdom is just a thought away. Wisdom is a thought away. Love strong. Love is strong. <laughs> Sweep. Love is strong. Time is stronger. <laughs> Give it up for team. I think four. it's all the time we have, Doc. <laughs> Good it job, up. everyone. Give it up for team. Four. Even after the electric Doc. Give it up for team four of the Inner City Long Form Improv Jam presented by Michael Levy, Family of California. Give once again for your MD for the evening. Woo!
Woo! And also give it up for your timekeeper all the way from Wheaton, Illinois, Brian Sabby. With the Mystery Science 3000 background. Don't correct me if I'm wrong, by the way. And You're right. We've come to now to the end of the jam and getting ready to introduce our headlines for the evening. Um, but before we do that, in the spirit of inner city, long form improv jam uh, taken from Pittsburgh improv jam uh, on Thursdays at 10. I don't know if it's still gone or not. And I, I hear, okay. So anyways, um, what we do is uh, we've done our plugs uh, for you. Now you get to do your own plugs for everybody else in the community. So if you have something you'd like to share, like a workshop, a jam, a show, um, things are going on online, um, maybe even live, depending on if, if you have people in the city that might be watching. Um, go ahead and come up one, uh, come up on camera. I'll call you up and go ahead and share your plugs, um, as well as you can go ahead and put the link in the chat of the event if you have an event link. Um, but once again, and somebody please from the volunteer group do this, you can also dump all of these links in our Facebook group. I believe it's facebook.com slash intercity improv hub, just because I thought it was cool. Um, anyways, if you have anything to plug, please come up on camera for some announcements. Please share a thing. Otherwise, I'm going to share my things, and no one wants to hear about my things because they're so boring, musical improv related. Nobody? Okay. I guess I'll plug my stuff then. Oh, no, Adam. No, no you're going to talk about it. You're going to talk. Wait, was it? Um, uh, Lum Theater on social media for Brooklyn, Manhattan Improv and Theater. So please follow Lum Theater on social media. If you haven't, um, um, I, I follow them. Ryan, do you follow them? Uh, no, but I will quickly here. Here, you, you want me? You want, you want me, me to do a live plug? I'll do it. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. Letter of Mark Theater, L O M Theater. Uh, check them on Google. They're on the Facebooks, the uh, Instagrams. They got a website. Uh, they're an awesome uh, place to learn improv, to do improv. Uh, if you're in the city, I don't know if they're doing any more online stuff. They also do experimental theater stuff that could be pretty damn cool. So yeah, LOM Theater. If, if you like your improv to be funny and kind, check them out. I'll be there. All right. Give it up for Adam and Mark Theater because uh, everywhere is kind and wonderful, hopefully. Uh, Susan uh, Skosko, what do you got? I will be on 13 questions coming up and I will post the link on your hub page. And also tomorrow night, open mic with Inner City Improv. Go and check it out. And Honey Bunny on the East Coast. Thank you, Faustino. Yeah, check out uh, UC Susan who hangs out at the, at the open mic as well as our friend uh, Donovan who runs Honey Bunny every Monday. Please check them out on Facebook. Uh, Brian Sebi, did you have something? Oh, but Don, uh, yeah. go. Oh, oh, okay. I guess I'm uh, just speaking of MSC 3K because I'm on the street team for their new Kickstarter. They got like five days left to make more MSC 3K. So if you like the show back in the day or the new Netflix series, make more MSC 3K.com. I get nothing out of it, but more episodes of Mystery Science Theater. And then my Shakespeare team is playing next what, Saturday on Westside's Facebook page. Yes, please support the unwritten works of William Shakespeare. You have to say it like that for trademark purposes. But yes, wonderful. They were headlined here before. I just Woo! see Don Sloven come up on. Sloven. Jeez, we've known I, each other this long. You still don't have the name. Why are piece of me? My <laughs> God. Uh, uh, talk about kind. Oh, no. Uh, we have all kinds of improv. The jam uh, has many different styles of improv and just come on out there on Tuesday, 8 p.m. Uh -huh. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday. I said Tuesdays. That's Vintage Improv Festival. And I put the direct link number in the chat. Yes, please don't dial that. Please don't put that into the FedEx shipping number. Please type in uh, zoom.com slash you slash that one. If you want to jam any of the jams, uh, presented right. by Vintage Improv Festivals. Uh, Mickey is a wonderful person. Thank, as well as Don, you. too. Thank yeah, I think Don's the main one. Anybody thank else for any live you. plugs? Plugs, plugs, plugs. Hair plugs or plugs of pugs? I guess no one else is going to plug things, so I'll just plug my own stuff. The whale is here! This is not a plug. This is a question plug. Is there, is tomorrow, is the open mic tomorrow? The open mic is tomorrow. Woo, woo, woo! And then I'll magically put the link in the 
I don't know. Uh, I think it's MC1. It's a tiny URL link. Uh, I got you, Faustino. Thank you. Yeah, sign up um, because we have wonderful things. We, uh, we have some regulars that come in. We usually have some one-offs. Um, check it out. You never know who's come performing. Uh, I don't know if I'm cooking tomorrow. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, anybody else for plugs? Um, if that's not the case, uh, a couple of things is uh, I teach uh, musical improv workshops. We have two left. The first one being sing because you matter, not because you're funny. That's going to happen on the 16th of May um, from noon to three Pacific. After that, it will be uh, the smorgasbord of musical improv forms. Uh, if you like doing narrative or hero's journey, uh, I, I don't know, forms are okay for me at least. Um, but if you want to learn some of those, we'll cover those in three hours and just try them out and see what happens. After that, I'm probably going to no longer offer Sunday workshops in the morning because I have to go back to work in the real world at some point. So uh, take advantage of those. Um, but also I'm available um, personally. Um, again, also uh, thank you so much for everybody who has been uh, following us at Inner City uh, Long Form Improv Jam since March of last year. Um, I believe, uh, if someone correct me wrong, I think we're about almost 300, 930 likes on our page. We have over a thousand followers, so give it up for a thousand follows um, at least on our page. But we're also, uh, thank you for the one clap. Um, we're getting close to a uh, thousand likes. Oh, 939. We're getting close. If we get um, 61 more likes, then a magical thing is going to happen. And I'm not going to say what. So please um, share our page, share our live stream, let people know that this is available for everybody. Um, we'll welcome anybody who will come on stage if they feel so inspired. Yes, thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Jeremy, for liking it. We are at 946 more before the surprise. Um, I'm going to also surprise you now if there's no more plugs. Um, I'm so excited. My mom is in the room, and I'm going to tell you right now, my mom is not the headliner. Uh, that, that's for later. But anyway, I'm so proud because um, uh, my uh, friend Ari from Norway uh, set me up with uh, with Jason and George of the Mountains uh, in this chat about Filipino food one time, and I was like, Ari, how, why do you know so much about Filipino food? And I got invited to a jam a month ago with some of the wonderful people you're about to see tonight from... Uh, Third World Theater. I'm very excited uh, to find see other people from my home country. I'm still a technical citizen. Very. I'm I'm running out of words to say. So I'm holding the flag. I'm super excited. My mom's excited. So I'm gonna butcher this. Malagang padating mula sa maganda Filipinas sa industry long for improv jam. Welcome to the stage. Housekeeping from Third World Improv of Manila, Philippines. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is up, everyone? Uh, we're just waiting for our hosts to come on now. Um, in the meantime, we can talk about our feelings. Kara, why did you choose to wear yellow today? Well, you know, Jason, it's morning in the Philippines, and I'm just feeling bright and cheerful to be here with everyone and to do a show with you and with the rest of, yeah, the peeps with us today. How about you, Papu? How are you feeling right now? Yeah, I, I, I'm supposed to clean my clothes, wash my clothes soon. Like, this is the last one I have, so it's what I wore today. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, yeah. guys, um, so between the three of us, I think we're going to have to start our set right now. Um, All so right, from everyone. let's go. Yeah, so for everyone in the call, we just want to ask you, when you visit a foreign country for the first time, much like we're virtually doing at the moment, what is the first thing that you tried to do in that country? Find a hotel. Eat. Find, find a hotel. That was the first thing that I heard, at least. Eat. Um, so we're going to do our set with uh, find a hotel and we can work in some eat as well i think i heard that twice yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. all right here we go all right all right so that's the 34th street and then yeah, uh, 34. But I think we could get a better deal if we get a little closer to uh, the center of, of um, Chinatown. Okay, I got it. Center of the Chinatown. Uh, hmm. So that would be in 29th Street, a couple of blocks away from here, right? 
Yeah, yeah, 20, 29th Street. But the place would be small. I don't know if you could fit all of your things in it. Oh, well, I suppose we can just leave them here. You know, I'm just, I'm starving right now. We can find a hotel later. What do you think about that? What are you, you're going to leave all of your things here at the airport? Brandon, that's why I flew with you, right? I just want to move out of that space. It is suffocating me. I just want to be free. And if it means leaving my luggage behind to have us eat, well, then the answer is yes. Oh my gosh, I don't think I could be as brave as you leaving everything behind like this the first mm -hmm. time you've ever left the country. Well, it's easy. I don't have much with me, really. I just, you know, a couple of notebooks that I journaled in, a couple of scented candles my friends gave me. They're part of the past now. <laughs> oh, I sometimes miss everyone. I miss everyone from home. You can't be saying that right now. We just got here. We're not even an R in this street yet. <laughs> I miss everyone from home. I didn't know the time travel would be this, like this. I think I went too far. Uh, hello? Anybody? Okay, Doc, Doc, Tom? right now. Doc, Doc, shh, keep quiet, keep close. They don't like loud sounds. They don't like loud sounds. Yes. How do I get out of this place? We're just gonna have to crawl out of the grass, okay? Okay. Wait. Are you a time traveler too? I can only tell. No, we have to hurry. Okay. Okay. Oh, the beaches are so much better in this era, I think. We should have come here a lot that. earlier. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I keep kept ignoring you. It's just that oh, you decided I don't know to how to up. act. Like, um... What? I'm sorry. I've always wanted to show up, but <laughs> I said I'm sorry. I've always wanted to show up. I can but hear your you mom, just fine. Your mom hates me. This was not the time to bring up the deep-seated feelings. Do you remember what the therapist said? The beach is for? Yeah. The beach is for? For peace and, for peace and for forgiveness. For peace and for forgiveness. For peace and for forgiveness, I know! It I'm hurts sorry. me sometimes that we could be in such a beautiful place, but our relationship just remains so ugly. Are you saying you're 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 breaking up with me? Five things to tell someone you are breaking up with them. Number one. Uh Look, see, are you eating that bread? Number two, this is not gonna work out. You don't brush your teeth. Number, Number three. three. <laughs> You you uh, ate ate my my donut donut
Number four. You suck. And number five, I really wish you treated my dog better. And that was the end of our YouTube video. You may please like and follow us on TikTok if you would like to see more ways to break up with people that you love. On to the next one. Dear Josephine, I would like to say how lonely it is up here in the moon. I am sorry I cannot be with you and our son, Juniper. I, I hope that this text message finds you well. It might take a while to reach Earth, but I will promise you that I will be waiting. Send. Dear Mark, I hope you're having a blast up there, as in literally a blast. I hope that you feel the weightlessness of space and the emptiness of the vacuum and the lack of sound and gravity. We're doing fine, by the way. P.S. You suck. <laughs> Dear Josephine, yes, I am having a blast up here. The view is great and I am enjoying the time in the moon. Smiley face. P.S. Is that innuendo? Wink, wink. Send. Dear Mark, you are a professional engineer up in space. Why do you have the creativity and the gall to talk about innuendo. I don't want to be part of your million mile club. That's just weird. When are you coming back? Send. Dear Josephine, I don't think I am coming back. You should join me in the moon. Hey, Mark. Delete, 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 delete. Mark, have you broken up with your human girlfriend yet? <laughs> Come on, baby. You know you belong here. Our love is intergalactic. Uh, I told you. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't just break up. Humans have such weird rituals when it comes to finding partners and mating. You, why are you bound to just one? I have a plethora of many intergalactic partners. You should too. But that's the thing. You and, and your, and your kind. You reproduce asexually. I need a human mate in order to reproduce. Oh, that's so cute. That is adorable. Oh, you lesser, you lesser evolved species in the universe. It's just, as I remember, I remember when we were like that. All right, all right, I get it. Well, you know where to find me. Uh, call me if you ever break up with her, all right? I will. Bye. Bye, Splatortata. <laughs> all right, all right. Don't panic. Just, just find the, your right light. We have to get the story done. Maybe uh, a little to the left. Okay. Just 
All right, all right, all right. Okay. Uh, Are you 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 you're ready? You're ready for this? I am. The lava is right here, by the way. Okay. Oh, it's not that hot. People just complain all of the time from the nearby villages. All right. Let's... They are paranoid. All right. Uh, ready? Okay. All right. And, and live. we're rolling. And live here from Tal Volcano, the volcano, as you can see, is currently spewing hot lava. And the lava uh, is right here at my ankles. And my boots are burning as we speak. And it's very, very, very exciting here. So yes, you must visit Bata <laughs> Batangas, Philippines, because when else can you see an active volcano while sunbathing under the tropical sun, right? And back to you at the studio. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. They won't believe it. Uh, I don't believe this. <laughs> I told you, if you come to our side, you're going to be warmer. Don't make me go to that side, young man. Don't make me go to that side, young man. I'm telling you. Can you come Don't... here? I can try. You you I want to, but it's cold. I know. Fine, 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 fine. See? It's, it's warmer on the other side. I think so too. Maybe we should go back. I'm going back. I'm going back. Oh. 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 See? You're right. It's not so hard. It is. Just a few steps. Just a few steps. It Ugh. is warmer here. You know, I don't get it. It's just a couple of few steps, okay? I mean, how hard it is to really solve a binomial fraction. I'm just 2 over 4 times 0.2. I don't get why my student won't be able to solve me. I've been sitting here for 10 hours. Earl... You have it easy. My kid hasn't even coded properly. My language system is still not properly working. Oh, shoo. Ugh, my page is going stale right now. I mean, just let me feel that tip of the pen already. I, my OS has been, uh, squirrel hasn't been working. Oh. I wish I wish this engineering student would just do his homework instead of drinking beer all the time. Oh, oh, I feel it now. Oh, ink is cold. Have uh, you had ink on your skin? It's cold. Oh, oh, glitching. It's glitching. Oh. Uh, he can't oh. choose a background oh. for the website. No, you don't care. Oh, no, don't you crumble. No, you saw. Don't crumble. No. The answer is one eight. Did you feel that? That was a little weird. It's like something was, it's like someone screamed at once, extremely far away. It really disturbed my vibe. Oh, there it is again. Have I had like too many margaritas? It's just not what I was thinking our vacation would be. Oh my God, it is so, uh, oh, that was trippy. Oh. oh, there it is again. I don't know if it's a bird or if it's someone suffering. Help! I'm suffering! Oh. I'm suffering! Oh! You have to help me! What? You have to help me! There is a pack of wolves right outside the hotel. 
Jeffrey, Jeffrey, wake up. There is a pack of wolves. It's supposed to be a relaxing vacation. You're all so noisy. My God. Let me see you try to relax once those wolves get into the pool with us. Okay, this is not a time for your marital problems, okay? We have to run and evacuate out of here. I'm with the lady on this one, Jeffrey. I mean, that one time that you said the tomato soup would not be spoiled, I was looking straight into my toilet bowl for six weeks. So I think it's time that you maybe paid me more attention. And when it comes to issues <sighs> like this, prioritize what the relationship is really about. And sometimes it's survival. <laughs> You gotta listen. Jeffrey. You gotta listen to your wife, man. This is the key. Good communication oh is the key to a good marriage. That poor animal, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, are you going to help the woman that Cusso kindly warned us about this intrusion? She looks fine. But I, I think what, she's do you fine. what do you really feel about each other? Who's the real threat? You know, I think about that a lot, miss. It's just, uh, um, I think it has a lot to do about how I did not get enough um, milk as a child. And so that just left me with this oral fixation that I look for in romantic partners. Maybe your love languages are different. Maybe you're going to have to just talk about it. <laughs> oh, so honey, we've tried that. We've tried that so many times, but it's just... Sometimes the, the love languages don't communicate so well. You've got a little bit of blood on your shoulders. Is that just like a you thing or is that like something all of us have to worry about? Oh, not you yeah. two, come on. Are one of you going? <gasps> oh I'm shit, going... what happened to her? She, I don't know, I had a traumatic experience or something just now. So inconsiderate, right when you and I were getting somewhere good. Terrible. I'm gonna get margaritas. I hate it here. 32A, 32B, 32C, 45. Oh. Uh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, sorry. I will just uh, yeah. I'll just put my luggage on top. Can you just? Ah, sure, 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 sure. Alright, sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, okay. ah. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Whew. Take your time. Yeah. Thanks. Do you happen to know where twenty nine D is? Ah, yeah, it's over there. It's over there. Are you twenty nine D? Uh, yeah, I'm 29D. I've been, you know, like stalling there because there's so many people going in. I mean, like, uh, dude, calm down. If we are just going to New York, what is up with it? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, man. Like, but by the way, I'm 29D as well. <laughs> <laughs> they got our tickets hey. printed the same? 29D, are you sure? 29D, window seat. 29D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 29D. This plane only has four lanes. So, window seat. I specifically <laughs> chose a window seat. I specifically chose a window seat because the air and the clouds, when I see them, it keeps me calm. Hi, oh, you yes. see the air too? Ah. Ma'am, sir, uh, are, sir, is there a problem? Uh, yeah, like, oh, we sorry. have um, the same seats. Oh, we oh, apologize. No. Oftentimes the airlines overbook. So what we're going to do is we're going to compensate the both of you by transferring you both to our first class seats. However, it is our lover's suite. So it is uh, two plain seats without the middle part and you will have to sit very close to each other. Okay, how close are we talking about here? Like. Close knee like, to knee, leg to leg, close. Yes, like, uh, like you would be close on a date. What? Oh my God! These lovers' suites, 
These lover sweets are shaped like hearts. I love it, baby. Oh, yeah. We, we're going to be taking yeah, off right, soon, right. so I will just be ushering you to your lover seats right now. So please take okay. a seat and have a great flight. Thank okay. you for flying with Delta. Okay. Well, we can get to know each other now. I mean, we can start with what's your yeah. favorite color to make this? Blue. Know? I like blue. What, what color do you like? Uh, dude, I like blue too. Nice. Nice. All right. All right. That, that'll work. That'll work. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> just need to just get the get the shape of the eye perfect for tonight. I mean, starring role, everything that it happens after this point defines my career, defines what I am going to be to my family. I have to stand out hey, among hey. all of those people. Look who's standing uh, out already. Ugh. Uh, stop. stop. I, love I love it. I can feel it from the door. Are you doing your prepping up and pep talk again? I was going through my theatrical monologue. Yes, that is correct. I love it. And what is it? Say that again. I love it when you do that. I know, I love it when I do it too. So um, if there's nothing else, did you want to borrow something from my table or? I just really wanna, you know, look at you, listen to you. Uh -huh. I don't know, maybe smell you a little bit. Is that okay. pear? Is that apple pear? Yes, it's apple pear. It's number four in the... Uh, Givenchy line. Ten it. minutes to curtain. Oh, oh. Eight, you're almost up. Oh my gosh, and I haven't put on my wig yet. I can't go out there looking bald. I need you to help me. Will you help okay. me? All right, how about wear this? <sighs> what? This is not, this is not culturally appropriate. I am not even a sailor. Okay, well, let's not do that then. Get that off. <laughs> oh, no. How about you just go out there and be you, be bold. Be bold instead. Do you. Be, be bold. <laughs> be bold. You're right. Be bold. Yes. I will do, be bold. No. I will do something I have never done before. Yes. Are you ready to be bold? I'm ready to be bold. Spellorthatha. I'm I'm going to be bold. Uh, uh, oh, you're morphing. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's that it's, time of the it's month. Our, it's our, uh, it's part of our evolutionary process. Yeah. It's 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 the lunar cycle, right? Uh, it is. Ah. Oh. Whew. Sorry, you had to see that. It's just you know, female aliens. It's a womanly thing. So, I'm so glad you decided to meet me. Yeah, um, my shuttle's leaving soon, and uh, like I said, I'm going to be bold. I, I am, I am ending this, um, this polygamy. What? Polyamorous relationship. With me. <laughs> Even though it's one-sided polyamory, it's I, I accepted it. I thought it's gonna work out, but, but. <laughs> In don't language, don't don't means... don't 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 use that language on me. <laughs> don't. What's the matter? Do like sad blaster? I never thought I would hear those words come out of your mouth. You forced me to. You flakatak blaster. Well, if I'm a flakatak blaster, your mother's a me. Don't you bring my mom into this. It's not my fault that you are all born motherless because you all reproduce asexually. You came from your sister, you stop at the black and don't black. You know. Fine. You go leave for your tiny planet. Good luck. Because you will never ever see my and never ever get to experience the wonders of planet. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I'm going to be happy with my one true love.
which you can never have. Happiness is a fleeting and arbitrary chemical reaction in the human brain. Which is heavily addicting. You know that, you stick black. Go. And never come back. And know that I have always you. I also sleep that you. Goodbye. Sepulchra. Hey babe, I have I have something that I want to show you. I've been watching this alien series on TV. I think I learned their language completely. Hey babe, all right, I'm just gonna hit it. All right, all right yeah, go. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this scene with two babes, but one of you can be my friend. Just do it. All right, so the thing that I learned from the TV. It goes something like this. Yeah, you got it. Whoa, whoa. When you just started, I just, you know, I have a feeling. Mama, mau. Mama, mau. Mama, mau. Mama, mau. Oh, wow. Mama, mau. Mama, mau. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. I think we can create an alien sentence if we do all three at the same time. From the TV okay. show. Let's do a paragraph. Okay. You called me. Whoa. Uh, whoa. You you called my name from the oh depths of the galaxy. What? Oh, this is why I hate humans. Please, you hey. can take our money. Are any of you single? What? I am. We're in a, you know. Oh, you're in, in a polyamorous open... three babe relationship? <laughs> you yeah, be exactly. Because we All are right. You can, you right. are my kind of humans. Let's go. You are rocking oh my in my God. style. How about right. let's drop the beat right now? Mama, mama. You everybody. <laughs> that was housekeeping improv. Thank you so much. Um I, I'm not sure what happened at the beginning, but thank you for being patient with Carl and my internet connection problems we are in the same house and our our net dropped just as faustino was doing the last vlogs but thank you very much for having us you were very <laughs> excited to be here thank you intercity improv um it was so much fun yeah thank you for having us and we are from third world improv i faustino was nice enough to put all the links in the chat and yeah that was us papu i'm Aed, carl jason and kara Thank Everyone you. come up on screen and give them a round of applause too. Housekeeping! Everyone come on screen and give them a round of applause. Hello. Hello. Thank you, everyone. All right. And then in the spirit of things, because we're going to wrap up the show, everybody now, go away. Go away so I can do the thing. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. Except if my mom wants to come up, uh, that's fine. Uh, because yes, we're going to... <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna, well, it doesn't matter if she comes up or not because she's gonna come up anyways. Um, here's the reason why. Um, next week, first of all, I'm so excited. No, say Woo! Nickel. Woo! Hey! Woo! Um, I'll get that night night and I'm gonna mute you. No, actually, stay on because, um, so, uh, first of all, uh, wonderful that we have people from the Philippines because here in the United States, it's National uh, Asian American slash uh, Pacific Islander Month, um, but also it's Mother's Day next week, and my mom is here, and uh, we're going to announce the headliner. Uh, she actually already knows, but she hasn't seen the screen. Ladies and gentlemen, the headliner uh, for this uh, Sunday 
is actually an unknown group of improvisers plus my mom because we're doing this. It's the Armando Mother's Day special. Armando special. So you'll get to see a group of uh, improvisers. We're putting a group together and we're going to interview my mom and Carlo and then uh, we're going to make a set and I've never actually performed there, Armando. So, and she has, and she's never seen it before. So there's that. Uh, thank you for being this test subject and we're going to spend Mother's Day together on a Zoom call. Uh, is Carlo there, by the way? No, 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 no. That's our deceased dog on a pillow. Um, speaking of which, we're going to... Um, so that's our announcement, and then no, 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 she's doing that thing. Somebody mute her, somebody get off camera. We're gonna start our line <laughs> game as we end. All no, okay, you know what? You can stay yeah. on. Mom, mom, let me ask you this question Can you explain what Topsy Log is? Can you explain what Topsy Log is? Since you're, you're already. No, Topsy Log is a uh, it log, con, a canine, and it's some kind of meat. Uh, you can, you're muted. I'm so sorry. She's no, you're muted. You can't. <laughs> Oi, no, hey, you're you're muted. <laughs> Any, anyways, so Topsy Log is this thing. Uh, this is insp inspiration because we have um, housekeeping tonight. Uh, we're gonna play a, a line game called What's Log um, because um, it's kind of it's kind of interesting to explain what Topsy Log is to people, and really, it could be really any kind of meat with egg and rice that we're gonna come up with a Westerners uh, a, a new dish for uh, whatever uh, Topsy Log. So for example, um, we can get a different object and we're gonna pitch these to people. For example, if we have a suggestion of a banana, uh, we'll have a banana silog, uh, masarapsa uh, banana silog, because it is very appealing. So we're gonna try to market this uh, food we cobble together um, based inspired by Top Soup. Hey, hey, put that away. Uh, hey, uh, that's not cool. I'm, I'm, I'm stopping your video. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, no, put it back I can't even find her anymore. This is it's not even Mother's Day, and we're already doing the show. Um, if you have, uh, let's get a suggestion of an object that lies in your house, for example, a washing machine or tongs. A toothpick. <laughs> what? Toothpick. Toothpick. So we're going to have a dish. Um, we're going to try to uh, show this dish to the Western world. Uh, toothpick silog. Um, you say masarap and do a pun based off of uh, toothpicks. So if you have any ideas, um, yeah, the words are masarap, masarap, toothpick, silog. And then just pitch that with you the form of the object. So if anyone got one, turn on your camera. Masarap. Is that right? I don't know I'm wrong. No, it's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So come up on screen and give your puns. Oh, we'll call you up one at a time. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Masarap. Uh, Don Slaughter. Masarab. Ma go ahead, go ahead. No, I introduced you. I want Slow Masarab then. with your mother. Your mother. I want your mother on. You go away. You go away. You. You, you, you go away, you bad boy. You go, bad boy. That's not even a pun. <laughs> There's a girl. Silog, I think. Uh, toothpicks. They're individually wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> this is masa rock toothpick. I would eat it anytime. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Maserap toothpick. You can eat and you take care of your teeth. Two in one. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Asarap toothpick silog. You can't handle the tooth. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> you said you'd call on people, Faustino. Masarap toothpick silog. I would eat it. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, let's say that. I said that. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have typed this out. I didn't really conceive this. It was either this or uh, soap operas. Speaking of soap operas, um, let's get a uh, genre of movies that you would like to watch uh, that's not involving uh, the Boondock Saints, because that's too gory for what we're trying to do. What is a genre of movie? 
horror. Oh, oh, no, cool. Um, horror. We're going to do a uh, masa horror silog. Um, it'll keep you up at night um, because digestion. Uh, so, yeah, masa uh, horror silog. Uh, come up if you want to make a pun. And that includes anybody from housekeeping as well. If my mom wants to make a pun, oh my gosh, will that be the day? Brian Sebi from Wheaton, Illinois. Uh, Masara Horror Silog. It'll haunt your dreams. Yeah, that sounds disgusting. David Shapiro. Masara Horror Silog. Here's Johnny. <laughs> Anybody for horror? Come on, Ned. <laughs> uh, Just Kent. Masara Horror Silog. We all ice cream float down here. <laughs> okay. uh, the whale who is muted. Masalab horror salab. Uh, don't let the name frighten you. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Brian, set me again. Masarab horror silog. It's bloody delicious. <laughs> oh. oh, good gosh. Uh, better be in a sausage form. Uh, Angel. Masarap over sea log, you will never forget it. <laughs> hey, 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 come on, hey, come back. Masarap horror sea log for when your stomach goes roar. <laughs> <laughs> Masarap horror sea log, bet you never saw that coming. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Masarap horror sea log, uh, you like it. <laughs> Speaking of it, um, hey mom, well, what's the suggestion of something um, that you had to pick up with your hands earlier today? Are you talking to me and Faustino? Hey, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oppo. Oppo, yes, Oppo Nanai. What is the thing you use to pick up with your hands earlier? Pick up in my hands. Oh, I, I planted. I plant some tomatoes. Tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Man, it's already Pick a thing, my... I think. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're doing masa up tomato silog. Or I don't know what the word is. Uh, but yeah, masa up tomato silog. Uh, that actually sounds <laughs> delicious. Eggs and rice and tomatoes sounds delicious. So anybody for masa up tomato silog? <laughs> well, that's a long one. Uh, Masa up tomato silo. It's not salsa. <laughs> of course not. Uh, the whale. Masa up tomato silo. Masa up tomato silo. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Masa up tomato silo for when you're feeling saucy. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Susan Skosko. Masa up. Tomato salag. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? Yeah. You have to eat it to find out, apparently. <laughs> um, let's go ahead. Last one. Anything at all before the suggestion? We're looking for an out. A suggestion of anything at all. Foddering. Bo bottle ripping? Foddering. Oh, soldering. Uh, oh, because I'm fixing the piano. Soldering. <laughs> uh, Mass it up. Soldering. Soldering. Uh, the metal used to combine electronics together. <laughs> yeah, master up sol sol soldering silog. Master up soldering silog. It's so good, it's shocking. Great. <laughs> Looking for that out. Somebody finish it off. Somebody come up on the screen. <sighs> okay. Uh, master up soldering. <laughs> Yep, Dan, Don Slovin. Masara, whatever. You go away. You bring in your mother. We want your mother. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. you bring, right. bring, bring on my, bring on mom. Bring on my. From Pampangas, by the way. Um, actually, she ran a clinic oh. in um, in Manila. I forgot the name of the thing. All right, that's it. People want my mom on screen, so we're going to call it there. Um, guys, that was uh, whatever. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Improv Jam, everybody come up on screen. Uh, this is uh, 
Y'all come every single Sunday. Thank you so much for supporting. Once again, Third World Improv um, and their house team, uh, housekeeping. Andy, I see you. Um, so go ahead and um, join us next week uh, where we do the Armando with my mom and my stepfather. Uh, that's going to be a blast. Anybody can come in. Musical Improv and Sketch is always here. Uh, we're going to do our thing where we're going to do a quick photo. So everyone, if you want to be on the screen as we take a photo, we will do the photo as a cue for we're taking a photo photo, um, following it up and posing in five, four, three, two, photo. Uh, everyone <laughs> say, um, uh, top C log. Top C log. log. Okay. Um, and that, uh, thank you so much also, by the way, for all the volunteers, give it for the volunteers that uh, helped out this evening, as well as our guests who did the uh, timing for us. And as we always say at the end of every Inner City Long Form Improv Jam in our community, this has been Inter City Long Form Improv Jam! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and